Hello everyone and welcome to part two of this creating low poly wood planks in Blender. In this part, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, fix up this texture in GIMP. And um, that'll probably be all we get through in this tutorial. And then in the next part, I will show you how to uh, ascend material to your object. And then also fix it up just a little bit with Blender's your painting tools and then um, maybe do a couple other things. So for this part let's go ahead and start off by exporting these UVs. So let's click the UV uh, menu here. Export UV layout textures and I've already done this once so I named it wooden planks uvs.png and export the layout. Actually Let's do that again. Textures change the fill opacity to zero. Now let's export it. Alrighty. Another thing is, if you look at this, you know these show the stretch. You can see there's there's no stretch on this image whatsoever. It's really cool. So that means there won't be any stretching when we map it. So it's going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and go into GIMP. Um, let's go ahead and load up our images here. Let's open the UVs. And then also, just go ahead and drag that in here. Move it down below the UVs so we can see the UVs on top. And the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and clone out these three lines right there you can't see those. So let's go ahead and do that. Select the clone brush. Change that to a 1. Select a brush, a fuzzy one. You don't want a hard one. Or else when you clone, you'll be able to tell really easily that you're cloning for some route. You know, you can see lines really easily. And that's not what we want. We want fuzzy so that you can't really tell. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we're going to select right here. Clone just a little bit in here. Hold on shift. And click it. You can see we cloned in all that right there. Let's go ahead and select another part of the image. Let's go ahead and finish that up there. ugly. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more so you can't tell there's this line there. Get rid of this knot hole as well. So, just go ahead and keep cloning away. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the next one. Hold down control, select this part of the image, clone right there, shift, click, zoom in here, select this part, finish it up right there. As you can see, that cloning was pretty much flawless. You can't really even tell. It's just cool. So now, let's go ahead and select, oh, I don't know, let's select this part right here. Clone in right there. Let's move this over, shift, select right in there. Click it. Select there. Let's kind of finish it up there. Alrighty, so there we go. Now you really can't even tell where those lines are. I mean, you can a little bit, but then once it's mapped to the board, you won't even be able to tell, so we won't worry about it. So now we, what we want to do is go ahead and make it so that the top of this board is pretty much seamless with the bottom. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead, grab our rectangular select tool, 
and we're going to zoom in a little bit, zoom out. We want to select this portion of the image. In here, a little bit bigger. Select that right there. Click it, Control C, Control V. Let's grab the move tool. Let's move it down. About there. Use the revert tool and want to go vertical and just flip it. So now if you look there see that they're pretty much the same there. So let's go ahead and anchor that. Turn off those UVs. Let's go ahead and use our clone tool again. Select this about right uh, right here. Let's just go ahead and clone that a little bit. Shift and select there. There we go. All right, so pretty much seamless now. So now, let's go ahead and get those ends done. So what we want to do is go ahead and open up this other image. The wood ends will also be included in the source packages and also I'll put a link to it. This is also from cgtextures.com. And now let's grab our rectangular select tool and just select this portion of the image right there control C control V let's rotate it hold on control 90 degrees move it over here turn on our UVs layer mind that right top corner up with the top corner of that board let's use our scale tool hold down control to keep the aspect ratio to about there scale and go ahead and move it again kind of rearrange it just a little bit in here alrighty so go ahead and hit control C, control V. Let's go ahead and revert this vertically and horizontally. And let's drag it over to this side. And now let's just use our cloning tools. Well, first we need to anchor this. Let's just use cloning tools then to just kind of make it fit in here a little bit just kind of clone away there we go let's go ahead and use our rectangular select again let's select this portion right here control c control v Grab a revert tool horizontally and vertically. Let's grab this over here. Turn on our UVs layer again so that we can see kind of where the end of that is. That looks about good. Anchor that. Grab the clone brush again. Size it down a little bit. And just kind of clone in here. There we go. Okay, so there's that end. Let's go ahead and touch the send down here. Change this back to one. Just grab right there. Just clone this in. Grab a rectangular select. 
do the exact same thing we did on the other side. Control B, Control B, revert tool, vertical, horizontal, drag it over here, anchor it, grab our cloning tool, size it down, grab it here. Clone that away. And there we go. So now we're ready to just export this. Go ahead and save it first. I'm going to save it as, I like to save everything as an XCF first. Let's save it as that. And let's go ahead and save a copy as one planks PNG. And that'll be it. For this part, in the next part, I'll show you how to take this image back into Blender, apply it to your mesh, and clean up the textures just a little bit with the cloning tools just to make sure they look really well. So, I will see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.